Hey guys! Today I am going to recommend three classic Hollywood biographies that I absolutely adore. So the three books that I'm going to recommend are actually about three of my absolute favourite actors um, of any time period, but obviously we're talking classic Hollywood here, so all three of these actors worked from sort of the 30s and beyond, and all three actually monopolised different sections of Hollywood. One of these people is a vocalist and was in musicals, um, another was in a lot of comedies and sort of more romantic films, and the third was in some very intense dramas. So let's get into it. The first book I want to recommend is A Class Apart, and this is about Cary Grant, and this is by Graham McCann. And I adore Cary Grant. He's my ultimate leading man. I love his films. A lot of them are very comedic, but he does do more serious films as well. He was in either three or four Hitchcock films, including one of my favourite films of all time, North by Northwest. His romantic comedies with Katherine Hepburn make me so happy. Um, Holiday and Bringing Up Baby especially are amazing. And of course, The Philadelphia Story is just one of the best films, hands down. This is a pretty brief biography. The actual text only comes in at 284 pages and, and then the rest of this is notes and a filmography. It briefly covers his entire life, but focuses mainly on his Hollywood career. I found this really really fascinating. It added a whole bunch of more films to my to watch list when I read it, most of which I think I've now seen. But it's very readable and if you are interested at all in Cary Grant it is the one I would recommend. Next up we have The Girl Who Walked Home Alone, Betty Davis, and this is by Charlotte Chandler. And Charlotte Chandler actually does uh, quite a few celebrity biographies. Um, I am not the hugest fan of her writing. She is a little bit dry in places. It's not as personable as some of the others, but I felt it worked quite well um, for Betty Davis. Betty Davis is maybe my favorite actress of all time. I love her in everything I've seen. She was often considered uh, a very brave actress for taking on roles that most other women wouldn't have wanted to play at the time. She wasn't afraid of being a bitch, she wasn't afraid of being ugly. She took on very demanding parts, a lot of the time she was very unlikable, and it was just amazing to watch. The actual narrative of this book isn't particularly long either, it is 298 pages but it feels denser than the Cary Grant bio. Um, it definitely goes into more depth, but because it's quite straightforward, it fits in quite a lot of information without too many personal opinions from the author. It's more factual and, and based on interviews that she had with Betty Davis. Betty Davis and Cary Grant actually have something in common in the sense that they were two of the first actors to begin making films for multiple studios without being owned by one studio in particular. Um, actors back in the day, they would sign on with a studio and if they were to make films for other studios, it would be them being loaned out by their studio in exchange for someone else. But Betty and Carrie actually both fought to um, manage their own career and have more opportunities and make the kind of films that they wanted to make. I actually have another Betty Davis bio on my shelf that I haven't read yet um, that I mainly picked up because the title of it is Dark Victory which is my favourite Betty Davis film. It is so heartbreaking and so beautiful and I just adore it. Um, but I'm interested to read that maybe sometime soon and compare it to this one. But I definitely still found this one so so enjoyable and I really do recommend it. I learned a lot from it. And lastly, we have Get Happy by Gerard Clark, and this is the life of Judy Garland. Um, Judy Garland, most of you will probably know her uh, as Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz in 1939. Judy Garland had quite a hard life, quite a sad life. She was immensely talented and she struggled a lot in both her personal life and her career. This book doesn't pull many punches. It definitely sympathizes with Judy, but it lays down the facts. It says, it tells hard truths, not just about Judy, but about uh, the Hollywood system in general, um, about men like Louis B. Mayer. This one is 
definitely much more in depth than the other two. Um, the text comes in at 424 pages and it really, it just tells everything. Um, Judy's showbiz childhood in vaudeville with her very demanding parents, her mother in particular, through to when she started working for MGM. It tells of all of her marriages, her children, her drug and alcohol problems, but it also very much celebrates her for everything that she managed to achieve despite her hardships. I loved this book. So thoroughly researched, so well written. I think it's my favorite read of the three. It was years ago now that I read this and not long after I finished it, uh, it was actually announced that they were meant to be doing a biopic based on this text. Uh, with Anne Hathaway playing Judy Garland and I was really excited for that but that was now years ago and it never really ended up happening so that's sad because I think it could have been amazing but this book is just really fantastic and it really does shed a whole lot of light on uh, Hollywood at that time in general so even if you aren't the biggest Judy Garland fan I would still recommend this if you like classic cinema. Judy pretty much knew everyone and she was maybe a little bit more social than either Betty or Carrie so I feel like there are more references to more film stars of the time in this than maybe in the other two. Really fantastic read, definitely recommend it very highly. So that was it, those were my three classic Hollywood biographies that I would really recommend picking up if you enjoy the cinema from the day and would like to know a little bit more about it, especially if you're a fan of any of those actors. But I think if you're just a fan of classic Hollywood in general, learning more through the career of just one person can be quite interesting anyway. Plus reading all three of those definitely made me an even bigger fan of them in general just because learning more about them and then learning more about specific films that I may not have checked out yet, uh, I really enjoyed all three. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon.